Yo, 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 week three is over, done with, and I got this fresh new tier list that I made with all, all the top 25 and a few that's not in the top 25 that could possibly be there, but we got that fresh new list, we even got Coastal Carolina and look, even hidden right here, little Cincinnati, we're kind of breaking down the different types of wins that happened this past weekend. Uh, some teams performed great, some struggled but still got to win, and others shit to bed. That's just what it is. So let's go. First up, Georgia versus South Carolina. SEC game, Georgia won 40-13. to South Carolina's not great. Still an SEC team. Somewhat of a rivalry. I don't classify it as that. I would say that's a good win. Get out of here. Alabama versus Florida. Oof. Oof. As SEC game number one versus number 11. Alabama won 31 to 29. I'll say it. I'll go ahead and say it. That's a dominant win. Florida, unfortunately. Shit the bed. Ahaha. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oklahoma, Nebraska. This is an old old rivalry they're not in the same conference anymore Oklahoma won 23 to 16 now everybody knows Nebraska is terrible they're god awful Oklahoma number three team in the country did not perform great this game was a lot closer than anybody really predicted and for that reason Oklahoma you survive Nebraska is terrible they're probably gonna fire Scott Frost at the end of this year if not sooner Oregon over Stony Brook. Stony Brook's like a high school, I think. They won 48 to seven. It's like the biggest cupcake game of the week. That's a decent, no, that, they did what they were supposed to do. Enough said about that. Iowa over Kent State, 30 to seven. The quarterback did pretty good. Dude, Tyler Goodson went off. 22 carries, 153 yards, three touchdowns. Iowa, you did what you were supposed to do. Oof. Clemson over Georgia Tech, 14 to eight. Oh my God, number six in the country, Clemson. Only beat them 14 to eight. Let's look up something. Clemson, Georgia Tech, 2020. Let's look at the score of that game, 73 to seven. Oh my God, dude. 14 to eight this year. And Clemson, I mean, Georgia Tech, I mean, they're terrible. Clemson's got a lot of work to do. You survived. Texas A&M over New Mexico, 34-0. to zero. You already know A&M did what they were supposed to do. Now, this is an interesting one. It's number eight, Cincinnati over Indiana, 38-24. Cincinnati's a weird one. They're a group of five team, not in the power five. They're climbed to make the playoffs. They have a different path than any other team because they can't afford to lose a single game and they had two games this season against power five teams which will be indiana and then notre dame coming up i think next week they had to win this game they have to win every game but this is one of the two biggest ones they had and they struggled early they were down 14 to nothing in the second quarter they fought their way back they they had a great show and i would say Honestly, just because their situation, that's a dominant win. Their hopes are alive. Their chances of making the playoffs went way up. Something to keep an eye on. Ohio State over Tulsa, 41-20. If the game ended at halftime, Ohio State would be in survive because they did not look great early. But luckily for Ohio State, football games aren't over in 30 minutes. They played a full game. End up winning 41 to 20. That saved them from survive. They get a decent slash okay win. Ooh, Auburn Penn State. This is a great game. Number 10 Penn State versus number 22 Auburn. Auburn had to travel to Penn State. That was a that was a wild one. Penn State won 28 to 20. Auburn had a chance to tie at the very end. Penn State got the win. I'm gonna be honest. I think that's a dominant win. It's a great game for their resume. Great win. Auburn, 
Hate to do it to you, buddy. Shit to bed. Notre Dame, Purdue. Notre Dame struggled. They struggled for a lot of this game. They ended up winning uh, 27-13. Purdue didn't even score in the fourth. I think Notre Dame... I think that's a decent slash okay win. And here we go. UCLA versus Fresno State. And UCLA dropped the game. Fresno won. Fresno State won 40 to 37. Damn. Ooh. I'm going to have to update the tier list next week because Fresno State's ranked now. And UCLA? Mm. Shit the bad, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Fresno State might be better than we, what we think. Iowa State over UNLV, 48-3. UNLV is uh, winless. Iowa State, you did what you were supposed to do. Here we go. West Virginia. Virginia Tech. West Virginia won 27-21. And Virginia Tech was very close to winning this game. Very close. They got stopped right at the end. West Virginia went off first three, first really the first half. Only a field goal in the third. Zero points in the fourth. But they still won 27-21. Virginia Tech. Sorry for your loss. I'm going to have to add... Uh, West Virginia back to this list as well because they'll probably be ranked maybe Coastal Carolina over Buffalo 28-25 this is an interesting one because they're both group of five schools and I don't think Buffalo is considered terrible they played a very close game but Coastal Carolina's kind of in the same kind of in the same category as Cincinnati where if they lose you're just going to completely forget about them They'll have no shot at a, uh, really no shot at a major bowl game. Um, yeah, I think I'll have to put Coastal Carolina in survive because, hmm, they struggle. Tulane, Ole Miss. A lot of people were picking Tulane to actually win this game. I didn't see that. I didn't feel that way. And Ole Miss absolutely demolished them. Ole Miss won 61-21. Just the fact that Tulane played Oklahoma so close and people were picking them to win. I'm going to give Ole Miss a... Should they get a decent, okay win? Do they're supposed to or good win? Hmm. Let's go back. Um, 61-21. I'd like to look at what the spread was on this game. Ole Miss was a 14-point favorite. <laughs> they won by 40 points. Honestly, I think Ole Miss gets a good win. I think that was a good win for them. Okay, onward. BYU, Arizona State. BYU won 27-17. to BYU was ranked number 23. Arizona State was 19. This was a late game. I watched the first half of this game. Uh, BYU, I think BYU gets a dominant win. I'm not going to lie to you. And Arizona State. Shit the bed. Arkansas. Number 20th ranked Arkansas over Georgia Southern won 45 to 10. Shout out to Arkansas, man. They did what they were supposed to do. Shout out to Arkansas, man. They're, they've turned it around big time. North Carolina over Virginia, 59-39. Virginia was not ranked, but that was their first loss. Did North Carolina beat them by 20? I think North Carolina gets a good win. That's a good win for them. Try to get them back on track. Michigan State over Miami, 38-17. Whew. Miami, you shit the bed. You probably won't see Miami ranked again the rest of the season. Just saying. Michigan over Northern Illinois. Their one win is over Georgia Tech. Let's confirm that. Yep. Their one win is over Georgia Tech and Clemson struggled big time with Georgia Tech. Michigan beat them 63 to 10. Michigan, unlike Georgia Tech, did what they were supposed to do. And yeah, that's it. You'll see some new teams in the top 25. Some of these teams will drop out. I think Auburn will drop out. UCLA will probably drop out. Virginia Tech's gone. 
Arizona State is gone. Miami's definitely gone. Probably won't be back in the top 25. Might have to add some new teams. West Virginia, Fresno State, new face in the top 25. So yeah, these are this is how the teams, in my opinion, performed this past weekend. Got some dominant wins. There was a few good wins. Still some cupcake games going on, but these teams handled their business. Some decent wins. These teams have a lot of work to do. Oklahoma. I don't know what's going on, Oklahoma. Definitely don't look like the third-ranked team in the nation. And these teams should the bed. Sorry for your loss. So there you have it. Let me know which teams I put in the wrong category and where you would put them. All right, later.